Hello, hello, Gil here again, so fast, yeah. You know, I've been shaking around some of your comments, and uh, you're asking me a lot about how I made my mask. Now, remember that this new channel is not about cosplay tutorials or prop making tutorials or anything like that, but I hate to leave a question unanswered. Some people have been asking me about the mask, I know that I didn't cover exactly all the details on how I made it. The question is exactly about how I made this shape around the shin. Well, to be honest, it wasn't easy. This is not the first time that I made this mask. The first time that I made it was back in 2014. And uh, it was with paper mache. Then I remade the mask and this part of the shin, I made it with styrofoam, which is this one right here, I've been showing you in my previous videos. This is styrofoam, that is one solution right there that you can use if you are not too familiar with EVA foam. Then I made this other one from Metal Gear Solid 4, this was made with EVA foam. It was just uh, this small piece right here, so shaping it wasn't really that hard. Now this one, the one that I made recently, gave me a bit of a fight because first the EVA foam that I used was a bit thicker than the last one. Because of that, of course, it's gonna uh, be a bit more difficult to shape after using the hip gun. The process, how I made it, was just this. Use the hip gun, once it's hot enough, Try to use a round object and uh, shape it. Press it on that round object until you have this uh, round result. Now, it's not going to be enough. Well, it all depends on the size of the object that you're using, on the size of your shin. It depends on those things. I wanted to make it thin, you know, small. So, I had to do this. I made some cuts so to get the foam there. I made a V-shaped cut so to close them together. This was a mistake that I made as you can see here. Two triangles. I cut too much. Then I had to fill it back with EVA foam. It doesn't matter how many times I've made this mask. Sometimes it gives me trouble. But it all depends. The resources, the materials that I'm using may be different than the previous one. Every time that I make it, it gives me like a different experience. Overall, it's the same process. So that's how I made it. I rounded this and then I made some cuts to fit it with your shin. You have to constantly try it on, take a look, if you don't like it, go back, cut a bit more, put it together, hit it, shape it, try it on again, and so on, so on until you have it like that, you know. And uh, this, of course, was uh, with the hip gun, and then just doing it like this, pulling it up. And then you get this uh, sexy, curvy shape. Like it, huh? So I really hope that answered your questions. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Remember to uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, and see you soon.